I remember I told you um, I went like on a Sunday. I went out. I was like, I think I was drinking the night before, and on the Sunday, I was drunk by about fucking one o'clock or something in the afternoon. Bumped into a colleague designer guy that I worked next to. Uh, talked to him for a bit. Then that night I got uh, that I I just bumped into him and I didn't see him again. And then I got fucking steaming that night so much that my pal had to say, "Is you should head up the road." I lost my phone and everything. Um, I think I went up the road by about nine o'clock. Fucking wrecked. And then the next day, I was that hungry. I just went, fuck it, I can't go into work. And I phoned my work um, like eight o'clock in the morning. Thought, get in before, I, I'll phone before my fucking, uh, for like the managers and all that are in. And I said, I go to just let them know. I just had, a, I don't know, a takeaway last night and I'm, I think I've got food, food poison or something like that. I, don't, I just don't feel well. I had to go to a phone box today because. I uh, lost my phone. And I was looking after somebody's house while they were away, somebody's flat. Uh, I couldn't use their phone. I don't even know if they had one. I, they must have. Couldn't use, uh, use their phone. But then, later on, the guy, the designer, colleague, who had bumped into on the Sunday, and he knew I was steaming, said to one of my bosses, before the boss had got the news that I was the coming in, or before my designer colleague knew that I had taken the fucking day off, said I bumped into uh, Brian yesterday. I was a wee bit kind of worse for the well, and that was like about midday. He didn't know. He didn't know. It's not like my boss went like that. He's taking the day off. Uh, got food poison. That's a lot of shit. I bumped into him about midday, and he's fucking drunk uh, by then. He didn't know. Um, I didn't get in any any trouble. It was just kind of left because that that boss himself was prone to a bit of that. I think. Um, well, he, him that designer one, he he talked like that, eh? And I remember going in hung head once, and he showed me pictures of aggressive freestyle walking. I mentioned this in the stream before. Like, in other words, like, um, what'd you call it? What'd you call it? What's it called? Jumping on things, parkour, like that, or however you pronounce it. Uh, parkour. Parkour? I don't think so. I guarantee you that whatever you think it is, that's not what it is. I think it's par parkour. Parkour, better, isn't it? Better, isn't it? Better, isn't it? I looked up, because I told this story before. Um, it showed me pictures, and that was like fucking 1999. And it was like, oh, look, he's looking at some website. And it was like, like guys like jumping on. It wasn't even like, oh, there's somebody jumping for this bit of building to that. It was like... I can't, these pictures just look like they were then like um, sweet stunts and things like that you might do with a skateboard but without a skateboard so they're just sort of like jumping on something with the pictures it just looked like they were just jumping on the edge or something, didn't look like they jumped for something there, there onto that and then fucking doing a somersault or something or going like that or jump on that that, that, that and then get up onto that roof it just looked like they were Walking, but sort of jumping on things like there's a wall, right? I'm going to walk down here. There's a there's a fucking brick wall, right? I'm just going to sort of like jump up and sort of put my feet on it for a second and and go back, you know, like easy, aggressive freestyle walking. And I was hung out. No, that it wasn't that time when I when I took a day off, obviously, because I didn't fucking come in that day. But I was looking at it and I was like, what what? Uh, aggressive freestyle walk and it's like, like a new thing eh? he's kind of smiling and I was like 
Is that a joke? No, it's not a joke, it's a real thing, eh? He's kind of like, sort of laughing a wee bit, sort of smiling, he's like, what do, you, what do you mean, what is it? And he just sort of j jumped about and, and I was like, <sighs> I, I kind of went like this, look. <laughs> and so I turned, go, go back to my book, I was like, I'm about to have a fucking panic attack. I was hung out, vulnerable, like kind of a bit para. And I just thought, it felt like fucking being, tri like I was tripping. I kind of felt like being on acid. And like that time, I told you about, uh, no, we haven't taken our acid. We're not taking it. And I don't say that. No, I'm not joking well. Right. No, but no. Have you taken an acid or no? Because I fucking take mine. We're not taking an acid tonight. Don't, don't say that. No, nah, we're joking. We're, uh, what? I'm like, I don't, is this a fucking joke? Honestly, I was just, I was like, this can't be real. We got, I don't worry. <laughs> You're joking. But it's was, was kind of like, uh, fucking aggressive freestyle walking. Aggressive. Freestyle walking. Look at this, everybody, look. Look at this. When you search for it, look what comes up. One year ago, I'm a fucking android. Imagine it was to the day. When exactly was it? I mean, when was this one? No offense, but if you still think stocks, real estate, or crypto are the best um, the investments in today's second. economy, I'm oh, sorry, but you've got it wrong. So, a, 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 year, a year and a bit, do you mean freaking out when they get... See that? I fucking... Oh, it's the same story. Right? I wonder... I'm no, I'm no too interested in only telling new stories. I'm, I'm alright with just telling the same fucking things again and again. But I wonder if I should challenge myself to only come up with... Um, New. New things. What if I should do that? There's comfort in the familiar, that's right. 